Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third episode in Around the World Low Cost Challenge where I'm attempting to fly eastbound around the world departing from London Luton on the 1st of June 2022 and returning to London Luton on the 9th of June 2022. This third sector is on board the Aerosoft Airbus A320 in the livery of Indigo, one of India's many low-cost airlines, departing Dubai at 0500. Our virtual calendar is therefore set to the 2nd of June 2022, but because this flight was flown months before publication date, I've set the weather in Active Sky to exactly one year earlier. Jumping right into Simbri for planning a departure on runway 30 right, which was the very runway we landed on on the last episode. As we made our approach in the PMDG 737-800 of Fly Dubai from Krakow. Today's flight is really straightforward, routing in a southeasterly direction towards the Indian Ocean, skirting Iran, Pakistan and then into Indian airspace before starting our approach to Mumbai. Okay, jumping back into the cockpit of this Aerosoft Airbus A320 Professional, it's time to get this third sector in a round the world low cost challenge underway. For me this has been happening far too often in prepared. All of the pre-flight data points towards one runway departure but in reality when you request a taxi you get a completely different runway. In this case the opposite runway which is one to left here at Dubai. But going back into Simbrief and making the change actually provides us with a much simpler departure here from Dubai. In effect pointing us in the direction of the flight down to Mumbai. So a quick update of the flight simulator routing so that ATC works and then then into the FMC for a quick reprogram of our departure and we're ready to go. After turning 180 degrees, we're now backtracking towards runway 12 left here at Dubai. And the scenery that I've got installed here in prepared 3D version 4.5 is Fly Tampa's Dubai rebooted for FSX. Because Fly Tampa never ported their Dubai scenery across to the 64-bit version of prepared. However, I think it works really well, with some improvements delivered free by any builds. Clear for takeoff, runway 12 left, guide by 1769er. Clear 
approaching. One, two, left. Everest 407, clear to land. Runway one, two, right. On runway. One, two, left. Runway one, two, right. Emirates 407. I think this departure out of Dubai delivered one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen and prepared in the years I've been flying in the simulator. It was a pretty unremarkable departure from runway 12 left. So I'm going to leave this part of the flight here and fly into the sunrise. As we approach the top of descent for Mumbai, I want to tell you a little bit about the scenery that I've got installed for this airport. It's from Stin Pacific, or is it Stein Pacific? I'm not too sure. To be completely blunt, it's not great scenery, which I bought back in December 2019 for 14 euros from Sim Market. We're being vectored here for runway 09 at Mumbai, and the first thing you're gonna notice is the ILS is off. Add that to the fact that visibility in Mumbai is off appalling. No matter what time of the year I've flown into this airport, it has always had to be an instrument approach. I believe this is probably true in real life. With the air quality at most of these large Indian cities being pretty poor, it makes for a very interesting low visibility approach. So here we go guys as I make my final approach into runway 09 at Mumbai. Watch out for the last minute correction as I disengage the autopilot coming out of the clouds. Or is it the smog? Approaching zero. 
Nine. Five hundred. Four hundred. Hundred above. Three hundred. Minimum two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Retard. 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 I'm going to take that landing so welcome to Mumbai hopefully you can see what I was working with on that approach domestic home flight simulators aren't perfect and when you add low cost poor scenery it makes things a tad worse however given that the airport scenery that is stock and prepared came from FSX so probably more than 15 years old at the time of recording this video even this low cost Poor quality add-on scenery is better than you're going to get out of the box and prepared. Anyway, we've arrived in Mumbai and just completed the third sector of our round the world low cost challenge. In the next episode, we're going to be back in an Airbus A320 from another Indian low cost carrier. I did say at the beginning of the first episode, this series would be full of A320s and 737s. So you know what to do if you want to continue to follow this series on the channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified of the next video as soon as it's published. As we pull up to the international terminal here at Mumbai, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching and wherever you're flying in your virtual world, don't forget to fly safe.